Now, in the last video, we talked about subsets and sets, or sets and subsets, and in this video, we're going to continue on with that. So, for a given universe U, we're going to know that A, B, B sets taken from U. So, A is a subset of B. That'll imply that for all X's, X belongs to A, and that'll imply that X also belongs to B. So, that's a subset, right? If X belongs to A, then X must also belong to B, right? So, what we have here is we have A does not belong to B. So, in this situation, this is pretty much logically equivalent to X belongs to A implies X belongs to B, but we're going to put a negation in front, of, uh, in front of that. So, for all X's, uh, so negated for all x's, x belongs to a implies x belongs to b. Now we know how to transform this such that you use the there exists factor and that will make things much easier to look at when we are talking about a does not belong to b because if a does not belong to b then a is not a subset. So a is not a subset of b. This only happens if there is at least one element x in the universe where x is a member of a, but not b. So taking the negation of for all x is x belongs to a and plus x belongs to b, we have there, that is logical equivalent to there exists an x negated, negated x belongs to it, but belongs to a, or x belongs to b. And if you work this all out, the real result that we want to find, we want to look at is there exists an x where x belongs to a, and x does not belong to b. So in this case, there is a single element, or there is there exists an element that appears in a, but it does not appear in b. And in such cases, a is not a subset of b. So remember what I told you about with uh, with subsets or or sets equaling each other. So if set a is equal to set b, that is logical equivalent to a being a subset of b and b being a subset of a. Then, if we have, we want a uh, not being equal to b, we just put a negation in front of that. So, if we negate that, that is logical equivalent to this end result that we want. So, this end result that we want is a is not a subset of b, or b is not a subset of a. So a, b are not equal if and only if one element x in u where x belongs to a but x does not belong to b. So two, one element, there's, this is the second condition is one element in one element y in u, y belongs to b but y does not belong to a. So a and B are not equal if and only if one of these two conditions occur or either both one and two both the condition occurs. So for sets C, D belong to U or C belongs to or C is a subset of U and D is a subset of U. C is a proper subset of D and that is logical equivalent only when C is a subset of D and C is not equal to D. Because if it's equal to D, we'd have C equals D. And when C equals D, that is a subset. That is not a proper subset. So a proper subset only happens when C is a subset of D, and C does not equal D. So there exists an element in D that C does not have, or they could have, C and D could have equal elements. So that's all I wanted to teach you today. Hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys again.